When choosing a paramotor, the engine makes a huge difference. And it's not only about power and clutch and electric and manual start, which we covered before, but there are other aspects to it. In this update video, we want to discuss the major construction of the engine. That means the position of the cylinder either at the top, to the side or at the bottom. Usually when you're considering this or that engine, you worry about thrust, uh, weight, vibration, whether it has clutch, a smooth power band and so on. And none of these is really affected by the position of the engine. Yet different cylinder positions have benefits and disadvantages. Basically, we have four, three major positions are the cylinder on the top, like the first two engines, cylinder at the bottom and cylinder to the side. Let's start with the top position. This construction is mostly used for small engines. Uh, very famous is this, uh, the top 80 used by mini plane or the Atom 80 uh, by Vittorazzi that we have on the picture here or many, many other uh, similar engines. Now, obviously, the benefits of this is is very compact. It's small, and it's a, it's a very it's a very good looking design, though. The major disadvantage is that this setup needs to have forced cooling. Why? Because here's the center of the prop, and here's the cylinder, and the cylinder is way too close to the center of the prop. So if you take the propeller here very close to the center it doesn't create enough airflow this is basically wasted area of the prop it's not creating sufficient airflow to cool the engine that's why these engines need forced cooling so the whole cylinder is basically covered with plastic or carbon fiber shroud a cover and on the other side of the engine there's a fan on the shaft so as the engine is spinning the prop, it's spinning the fan and forcing the air to flow through the tiny little gap just around, around the cylinder and the head to cool it down. But there is another option to improve the cooling and keep the cylinder at the top and that is to have cylinder at the top of the crankshaft and the reduction pulley at the bottom. Now this system, this design is the best in terms of cooling because the cylinder head and the cylinder itself is quite far from the prop center so it's actually in the area where the prop creates maximum airflow so the cylinder head and the cylinder receives a lot of um, the best cooling airflow possible only big disadvantage of this concept is that you need to keep the reduction pulley in the very center of the paramotor and this sticks quite high above the actual frame of the paramotor so it makes the whole paramotor with the engine installed a little bit larger so usually the frame of the disassembled paramotor would end here but the engine makes it makes it a little larger so it's more bulky when you need to transport it the other option is simply turn the whole engine upside down so these the simonini and the minari are kind of the same construction is just turned 180 degrees so now we have the cylinder head at the bottom and the reduction pulley at the top again the cylinder head and the cylinder is exposed to the nice airflow because it's quite far from the center of the prop where the prop creates a lot of airflow to cool the engine the only problem is the cylinder head is quite bulky and takes away the space for the for the fuel tank so you also need to place the fuel tank a little bit lower to to have a sufficient gap between the engine and the fuel tank the major disadvantage however on this is if you make a mistake before starting and you over prime the engine that means you squeeze the primer ball too too much and pump too much fuel into the engine the whole fuel will flow onto the spark plug and it will flood the spark plug and in that case it's impossible to start the engine the only solution is to remove the cap unscrew the spark plug clean it dry it put it back and then you can restart again so it's more prone to flood it Vitorazzi Monster Plus I admit it's my favorite engine it's kind of a compromise of these two solutions so the cylinder is to the side slightly upwards the spark plug will be not flooded if you over prime it which is a good thing now the distance 
uh, between the cylinder head and the prop center is not as much as on these two engines so the cooling is not ideal that's why we would recommend to use a cooling shroud or propellers with special cooling fins that are made to create a bit more airflow in this area for cooling of the engine we have a few videos on the list that we want to update our series with the next will be forced cooling versus propeller cooling versus water cooling all of these have advantages and disadvantages as usual so stay with us hit the subscribe button and see you soon thank you very much bye